The genius Nikola Tesla said, if you want to know the secrets of the universe, think in terms of energy, frequency, and vibration. He talks about the importance of sound and frequency in the creation of the world. Nikola Tesla is said to have lived at a slightly different frequency than people because of his genius. Most people spend their time in the 300 Hz to 600 Hz frequency range, but if the frequency is even slightly different, the world becomes a completely different place. In this article, I would like to talk about how the world is made up of different sounds and frequencies based on a quote by Nikola Tesla. Tesla, who professed that everything on Earth vibrates and has a frequency, believed that the world could be created by manipulating frequencies. He said that the same can be said of things that do not have form. Words, for example, vibrate more and more as they resonate with each other. Tesla thought that by identifying these frequencies, it would be possible to elucidate the origin of all things and create new things. So, how to create new things? The answer lay in sound. The origins of the world spoken of in each religion have something in common. Christianity says that the world was created by words. Hinduism says that the world was created by the sacred sound, Om, which means beginning. And Egyptian religion says that the world was created by song. In other words, sound has long been regarded as the source of creation. Moreover, sound vibrates more when they resonate with each other. Therefore, it is no exaggeration to say that the world was created by sound. Nikola Tesla is famous for his Tesla coil. He tried to create a world system using this coil, but its principle was based on frequency. The Tesla coil can generate various frequencies by an electrical discharge from the primary coil side. There, the secondary coil side receives the frequency and the accompanying high voltage flows through the system. There is a good reason why the frequencies and voltages are so high. The Tesla coil was designed to provide what is now known as wireless power transmission, and it was intended to provide the energy supply for the entire planet by harnessing the enormous power of the Tesla coil. However, it had a weakness. In fact, an experiment was conducted to see if Tesla coils could resonate with each other using a miniature light bulb. The resonance in this experiment is seen by the glow of the bean bulb for each coil. First, both the primary and secondary coils are made to resonate in exactly the same shape. If we place the secondary coil near the discharged primary coil, the bean bulb in the two secondary coil lights up beautifully. The light bulb became dimmer as the secondary coil was moved away from the primary coil. The lower the coupling coefficient, the more limited the range of frequencies that can be supplied by wireless power transfer. The lower the coupling coefficient, the more limited the range of frequencies that can be powered. Nikola Tesla had the idea of using the resonance of the Earth to achieve a stable energy supply, but the Schumann resonance, discovered in 1952, has a primary frequency of only 7.83 Hz. The higher the resonance, the higher the frequency, but the overall value is very low. On the other hand, the primary frequency of the Tesla coil is 286 kHz. Even if we were to use the resonance of the Earth, it is unlikely that this enormous power could be supplied wirelessly. However, sound itself continues to make our world, and today, different frequencies encourage and challenge us. Did you know that the sound of 432 Hertz has a healing effect on people? 432 Hertz is famous as the most beautiful sounding frequency and is said to have a very high healing effect. Modern sounds themselves are often composed of 440 Hertz which is the international standard, but this frequency has the effect of making people feel impatient. In fact, if you actually put those sounds to water and make ripples, 432 hertz produces beautiful ripples, but 440 hertz crushes the waves. It is amazing that a difference of only 8 hertz can have the exact opposite effect. However, this 8 hertz is almost the same as the primary frequency, 7.83 hertz of the Schumann resonance, which is the vibration that occurs when the Earth rotates on its axis. 440 hertz is also known as the devil's frequency. According to one theory, that secret society, the Freemasons, with the support of the Nazi government, approached us to adopt it as an international standard. Although this story is only at the rumor level, it has been elucidated that it has no small effect on the human body. 
A study conducted by a Japanese research team in 2002 found that listening to sounds at 440 Hz lowered brain wave power values. The study tested how long a person could listen to sounds with frequencies ranging from 110 Hz to 1100 Hz. The sounds themselves lasted one minute, but the longest they could last was five seconds. And the most important characteristic of 440 Hz is that it has the property of exciting people and making them more likely to become aggressive. Despite these characteristics, why did 440 Hz become the default? Musical instruments are tuned based on the note of Ra. That note of La is considered to be 440 Hz, but until the 18th century, tuning was done at 432 Hz. At that time, the concept of Hertz did not exist and it was not possible to measure exact frequencies, but early classical composers used the Pythagorean tuning system. So this Pythagorean temperament was composed with a frequency of 432 Hertz. Mozart's music is particularly famous. His music is composed with a frequency of 432 Hertz. Mozart used a tuning fork with a frequency of 21.6 Hertz when tuning his music. This tuning fork was used by piano craftsmen of the time and was also used by Beethoven. So the reason why listening to classical music makes you feel calm is related to the composition of the sound. On the other hand, rock music is the best example of music composed at 440 hertz. People who listen to rock music get excited and become more and more aggressive in their behavior. Certainly, it is somewhat enjoyable when one's own tension rises. But this is also evidence that it can drive people crazy. World-renowned artist John Lennon tried to measure the breakout to 440 hertz. His most famous song, Imagine, is composed of 528 hertz, which counts as a solfeggio frequency. Solfeggio frequencies are specific frequencies that are believed to have healing and relaxing effects. There are nine main ones, of which 528 hertz is believed to have the ability to repair damaged DNA. This effect is almost the same as that of 432 hertz, but that is only a frequency of cosmic origin. So it is safe to say that the solfeggio frequency is a healing frequency brought about artificially. 528 hertz is also called the frequency of love. It is often used in healing music and is believed to have the role of releasing ties. On the other hand, 432 hertz is a frequency that helps activate the right brain. Like the ripples in water mentioned earlier, our bodies are also susceptible to the vibrations of these frequencies. The right brain controls the subconscious mind, which is constantly moving even when we sleep. The subconscious mind promotes good fortune and health, and it is no exaggeration to say that 432 hertz provides a certain inspiration. There are individuals who have actually used sound and frequency to accomplish things. Especially famous is the healer Royal Raymond Reef. He discovered that certain frequencies destroy viruses. This is also known as the life frequency, and today it is used in medical treatment machines. The fact that frequencies can save lives is something that even Nikola Tesla could not have imagined. But this is the kind of technology that is being created today. Finally, let me introduce a physical experiment on frequency. It is an experiment called Water Memory, which was conducted by Masaru Emoto. This experiment observed how water changes when music is played to it. After playing several kinds of music, the crystals were formed as follows. The two crystals in the picture now are water that was exposed to different pieces of music. The crystal with the clean shape is the Mozart piece and the crystal with the whirlpool shape is the one that listened to heavy metal music. Each part of the Mozart crystal is well formed, right? On the other hand, the crystals of heavy metal are no longer in shape. Today, all kinds of sounds are crammed together. There are countless sounds composed at 440 hertz, but there are also sounds at 432 hertz out there. The wonderful thing is that we can use words. They are released to the other person as sound. By doing so, you and the other person resonate with each other. 70% of human beings are made of water. As in the water memory experiment, the frequencies we are exposed to can affect us for better or worse. So the everything that Nikola Tesla refers to includes us. So how can we be flooded with good frequencies? The answer is to review the words you use. 
For example, words of gratitude such as, thank you, are full of high energy. If you feel a warm and pleasant vibration, as in the water memory experiment, you can be sure that it is having a very positive effect on you. That said, we do not recommend that you treat 440 hertz in an evil way. It has a tendency to drive people crazy, but on the other hand, it is a warning. The train departure chime is the best example. There are so many sounds and frequencies today. If Nikola Tesla were alive today, he would use the frequency characteristics of each to make a great invention that would shake the world. 